today we're going to be using the waffle iron. And we're going to see if we can cook chicken wrapped bacon. So what you're going to do is try not to get bacon grease and crap all over the place. And you're going to just have your waffle iron iron and set it. And then you're going to take a thawed out chicken, which mine is not seemingly 100% thawed. I'm going to take one chicken breast and then two pieces of bacon and wrap it. Those who want to put a little bit of seasoning, go right ahead. You're going to very slightly overlap it. Oh, I need one more piece. I'll have to start over. Like so. And just wrap it like a ribbon. Wrap it completely around as well as you can get it to go straight. And you're going to put it in your waffle iron and cook it for at least a good 20 minutes. Oh gosh darn. Seems we need four pieces of bacon on this bad boy. Because again, you want it to slightly overlap. And there you have it. And here we go. This is gonna be my first time making chicken on a waffle with the waffle iron. Here we go. Whoa, hot. I don't think this is going to work. And why I don't know if it's going to work is because I didn't have it completely unthawed. So I'm going to put this back in the fridge. And I blast it so it doesn't come back. So I'll cut it up. I'll just put it in here for now, not to waste. Ooh. Bacon definitely is cooking. Now what I should have done is made sure that this was properly unthawed, which I did not. And then so because it's so big you can't close it now. Hmm. You know what? You know what? How hot? I think I might have to cut this bad boy in half. it. 
try this again. Um, it seems like maybe the outer part, I can stick it so it is at least on the one side. That's what we're going to do. Happens. Grease all over the place. So there you go. Look at the grill marks. Oh, that is cold on that side. Okay. Yeah. This may not have been a good idea, y'all. Let me go try and wash up a bit. because Pippa makes it better and there's probably way enough salt on the bacon just put a tiny bit we don't know if this is going to work I don't want to break it Anyhow, the whole point of making it with the waffle is to make, so that I thought I would be saving from it getting too hot in the house, but this is near the window. So we'll see what happens. Then I've got a drip tray underneath. So, hopefully, well, no, at this point it is not easy. Like I said, I don't want to force it too much that it breaks. So this is going to be a good 5-10 minutes. Let's see what else we can put along with it. This is going to take so long to cook, I'm not going to put anything off the set. Mmm, it sure smells good. Bacon and chicken. Whoops. Nope.
YouTube. This was your idea. If I break my machine, it's all your fault. <laughs> Liz cooking. Ooh, looks good. You can see all the moisture coming out by me pressing it. Okay, I'm going to try and close it. Whoa! Oh, what juice. That'd be good gravy. I don't think I'm going to attempt making gravy on here. It smells so good, y'all. I almost want to put some cheese. Let's see what kind of cheese it is. Find any cheese. Oh. Mm. Ooh, that almost flew, flung out. It's good. Flipping it back and forth, that way I'll make the flavors of the bacon go back and forth, the chicken and flavor, chicken and bacon flavor. Yep, 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 that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, babe. Let's put this yummy stuff back on. This Flying on the other side. Oh, this is sizzling nicely. You don't want raw chicken. Sure. I'm going to let some of this drippings come out. I'm going to have fun cleaning that. I'm going to have to clean it. Uh oh. I don't think that tray likes all this heat. Move away from here. Mm -hmm. Wait till this kind of is not dripping as much.
From smelling it, I think it's ready. Ooh, let's open it up. Oh yeah, baby. I rinsed a lot of the grease off. I'm gonna flip this. Ooh, it's browning nicely. It is browning nicely, and I think it's good. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't really want to use this cross for that. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, boy, this stuff smells good. I think it's ready, y'all. Whoa, what happened to this? Can I knock this? Uh, oops, Daisy. Mm. I'm gonna unplug this and let it keep cooking for a few more minutes. Yeah. Let's see how long. The only thing is because I wrap the bacon or put the bacon on one side because I ended up cutting it so now it's only on one side. Now the bacon will mainly be cooked up on one side. So that's another reason why I want to kind of let it cook any longer. Oh yeah. Here we go, peeps. Do not do not, uh, I'm going to let a little bit of the grease drip off. Do not poke your machine. Poke your machine. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Waffle, bacon, and chicken. Num, num, num. Anyone? Waffle and chicken. Yeah. Ooh, hot. My hand's getting hot. Waffle and chicken, anyone? Doing waffle iron this week. That's the new theme. Enjoy!